To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Visit our channel and get more learning videos under playlist option. There you can find current affairs, daily vocabulary, banking awareness, aptitude and much more. Hello friends, welcome to the October Monthly Digest by Exam Bell. In this session, we have compiled all the current affairs topic which we hope will be useful for your studies. Let's look at the topic related to international. 58 people were killed and 515 people were injured when a gunman opened fire at an outdoor music festival on Sunday night from the 32nd floor of an adjacent hotel in the Las Vegas Strip. The local police have been described the incident as an act of domestic terrorism. The incident is the deadliest mass shootings in the recent time in the US. The June 2016 mass shooting at the Pulse nightclub on Orlando Friday left 49 dead. Catalan leader Carlos Puigdemont said on a Monday that he was not looking for a dramatic split from Spain, but of new understanding the day after hundreds were injured as police tried to forcibly disrupt a referendum on independence. Hamid Karzai, the former president of Afghanistan, has said that India should not be pulled into the U.S. approach for Afghanistan, which he warned was a part of a bigger strategic game that would not bring peace to the region, but should maintain an independent approach based on the shared interest of India and Afghanistan. The government has written to the International Labour Organization, which is also known as ILO, challenging a recent study on modern slavery conducted by the Australia-based Walk Free Foundation, which is also known as WFF, on behalf of the global body. The report does not mention India. The Labour Ministry shot off a strong letter to the ILO regarding its report titled The Global Estimates of Modern Slavery forced labor and forced marriage 2017. The report, released on September 19, does not contain any India-specific findings bearing a mention that 17,000 people were interviewed for the survey. US President Donald Trump has proposed a merit-based immigration system that could benefit highly skilled Indian workers but prevents them from sponsoring their extended families as a part of aggressive plan which he said will serve the national interest. However, there was no reference to the H-1B visas which is the most sought after by the Indian IT professionals in the proposal which Mr. Trump sent to the Congress. China's Minzhou University is offering the country's first master's degree in yoga in what appears to be a clear signal that the soft power is being deployed to reactivate the India-China ties in the aftermath of the 10th Stoklam standoff. The China Youth Daily and the official newspaper of the Communistic Party of China has reported that the university located in Kuomeng has started accepting application for the China's first master's degree course in yoga. India's Defence Secretary Sanjay Mitra has said during a three-day visit to the UK ahead of the next meeting of the two Prime Ministers of India and Britain hope to agree on concrete measures to take forward their defence partnership by the next year. The meeting of the two leaders is widely anticipated to take place at the Commonwealth Heads of the Government meeting in London on April 2018. Nisha Desai Biswal was the former US Assistant Secretary of the State for South and Central Asia has been appointed as the president of the U.S. India Business Council, which is also known as USIBC, a forum of the U.S. businesses under the U.S. Ch Chamber of Commerce. The USIBC has been at the center of the recent controversy after its previous board has decided to set up the new organization 
called the U.S. India Strategic Partnership Forum, which is also known as USISPF, breaking away from the chamber. London Mayors Sadiq Khan and the Deputy Mayor Rajesh Agarwal are to visit India and Pakistan later during this year. In the first official trip by a senior British politician to both the countries, as city authorities seek to reassure the businesses and others across the world of the resilience and the strength of the city post Brexit. He is set to visit New Delhi, Mumbai and Amritsar and then he is going to travel to Lahore, Islamabad and Karachi. The Britain government has published a report earlier this week highlighting the huge differences in the experiences of the ethnic minority groups across the Britain in terms of access to public services ranging from education to health as well as in the outcome and treatment or they experienced. While the report unveiled many glaring and troubling differences such as the black people were three times as likely to be arrested as their white counterparts. It also builds up a snapshot of the British Indian community which appeared to show them to be better off than their counterparts from other ethnic minority groups. The US has announced its withdrawal from the UNESCO, accusing it of continuing the anti-Israel bias. UNESCO is the first UN agency to have admitted Palestine as a full member in 2011. As acquired by the law, the U.S. has stopped funding UNESCO since then. The U.S. withdrawal will take effect on December 31, 2018. Until then, it will remain a full member. President Donald Trump has said that he would reconsider a lenient approach towards young immigrants brought to the U.S. illegally as children, provided the Democrat and Congress support his plans for building a border wall and restriction on immigration. The Trump administration has discontinued the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which is also known as DACA, which is an Obama-era immigration reform that protected the residents who entered in the country illegally as children from deportation. An official said a princess has been named to head the Saudi Multisports Federation, which is a first for women in the conservative Muslim kingdom where men dominate all the sports. In August 2016, the princess has scored another first for women in Saudi Arabia when she was named by the cabinet to a senior post in the kingdom's equivalent of the sports ministry. Akshay Ruparelia, who is the founder of Doorstep.uk, has become the youngest millionaire in the United Kingdom, an online estate agency business that has recently been valued at £12 million in just over a year. The teenager also had to borrow money from his relatives to start the website itself. Ruparelia eventually started the site with only £7,000 in hands. Every day in 2016, 15,000 children died before their fifth birthday. 46% of them are 7,000 babies died in the first 28 days of life, according to a new United Nations report. Levels and trends in child mortality 2017 reveals that although the number of children dying before the age of 5 is at the new low that is 5.6 million in 2016 compared with nearly 9.9 .9 million in 2000. The proportion of under 5 deaths in the newborn period has increased from 41% to 46% during the same period. The newly refurbished U.S. Constitution is taking its first spin through the harbor in three years. Friday's joyride from Charlestown Navy Yard in Boston to Fort Independence on Castle Island will celebrate the U.S. Navy's 242nd birthday and the 220th anniversary of the iconic vessel's maiden voyage. The head of the World Health Organization on Sunday reversed his decision to name Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe as a goodwill ambassador following widespread uproar. The head of the UN agency, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, said in a statement, Over the last few days, 
He has been reflected on and his appointment of Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe as WHO Goodwill Ambassador for Non-Communicable Diseases in Africa. As a result, he has decided to resent the appointment. Millions of Japanese brave typhoon conditions on Sunday for a snap election likely to hand Prime Minister Shinzo Abe a fresh mandate to revive the world's third largest economy and process hardline stance on North Korea. If pre-election surveys prove correct, Mr. Abe's conservative coalition will cruise to a crushing majority to win a fresh term at the helm of the key U.S. regional ally and Asian economic powerhouse. Visiting U.S. Secretary of the State Rex Tillerson said the United States is worried the emboldened terror outfits could threaten the stability of the government of Pakistan. He also explained that he had discussed the issue with Pakistan during his meeting in Islamabad. However, while India and US agreed on Pakistan and Afghanistan related concerns, India defended its ties with Iran and North Korea. Tiny Singapore now has the world's most powerful passport. According to a new ranking, with its citizens able to travel to the greatest number of countries visa free. The citizens of Singapore can travel to 159 countries without a visa. Passport Index, which keeps track of how usable such documents are, said that the city-state grappled the top spot after Paraguay removed restrictions for Singaporeans. In which city of United States the deadliest mass shooting incident takes place recently? Option A, New York. Option B, San Francisco. Option C, Las Vegas. Option D, Seattle. Option E, Boston. The right answer is Las Vegas. Who is the president of the General Elite? of Catalonia. Option A. Jose Maria Aznar. Option B. Mariana Rajai. Option C. Carlos Puigdemont. Option D. Pedro Sanchez. Option E. Albert Rivera. Right answer is Carlos Puigdemont. Which country has signed a memorandum of understanding with India on technical cooperation on police training and development? Option A, China. Option B, Afghanistan. Option C, Sri Lanka. Option D, Bangladesh. Option E, Pakistan. The right answer is Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a country signed memorandum of understanding with India on technical cooperation on police training and development very recently. ILO has released global estimates of modern slavery with which organization? Option A. Walk Free Foundation. Option B. Born Free Foundation. Option C. Be Free Foundation. Option D. Set Free Foundation. Option E. Go Free Foundation. Comment your answers with question number and the exact answers below and if you know any other details you can comment that also. The right answer is Walk Free Foundation. Which of the following is correct regarding H1B visa of USA? 1. H-1B visa is to recruit and employ foreign professionals. 2. Present minimum required salary to get H-1B visa is $1,30,000. 3. The H-1B visa is valid for 6 years. Option A 1 only, Option B 2 only, Option C 3 only, Option D 1 and 3 only, Option E all of the 3 things. Type in your answers in the comments below.
The right answer is all of the above. All three reasons are correct with regards to H-1B visas. Which yoga college in India sponsoring China's Minzo University first master degree in yoga? Option A. Gujarat Ayurveda University. Option B. Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University. Option C. University of Patanjali. Option D. Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusandana Samstana. Option D. Rastriya Sankrit Vidya Peta Tripathi. Type in your answers in the comments below and if you know any other information regarding the University of China, you can also add that information. Right answer is Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusandana Samsthana. Who is the Defense Secretary in United Kingdom? Option A. Liam Fox. Option B. David Davis. Option C. Michael Fallon. Option D. Boring Johnson E. Chris Grayling. Type in your answers in the comments below and if you know the Prime Minister of United Kingdom that also can be added in the comments below so that the other users can know about the PM of United Kingdom. The right answer is Michael Fallon. Who is the newly appointed president of US India Business Council USIBC? Option A Rajneesh Kumar, Option B Mukesh Zaghi, Option C Ami Haryani, Option D Sanjit Akarwal, Option D Abhishek Kishore. Type in your answers in the comments below. The right answer is Mukesh Zaghi. Name the campaign in which London Mayors is officially visiting India and Pakistan. Option A. London is open. Option B. London for you. Option C. Business in London. Option D. Transfer for London. Option E. London to go. The right answer is London is open. Which country promoting racial equality in terms of access to public services ranging from education to health? Option A Britain, Option B Australia, Option C Russia, Option D North Korea, Option E United States. You've got 10 seconds to type in your answers in the comments below. Before that, add the question number before reaction to understand which question you are giving the answer. So the right answer is Britain. Britain is the country promoting racial equality in terms of access to public services ranging from education to health and it is propaganda very recently. Here is your 24th question and it is from international. Which of the following is correct regarding UNESCO? UNESCO is the first UN agency to have admitted Palestine as a full member. 2. US and Israel withdraw from UNESCO. 3. UNESCO cancels the literacy prize. And our options are option A, 1 only, option B, 2 only, option C, 3 only, option B, 1 and 2 only, option E. All of the three stated statements are correct. So let's have, uh, let's look at the right answer after 10, 7, 8, 6 seconds. So the timer is running, type in your answers in the comments below. Yeah, timer's up. The right answer is all of the above, all of the three statements. UNESCO is the first UN agency to have admitted Palestine as a full member. US and Israel withdraw from UNESCO. UNESCO confers the literacy prize of the right answer. Or all the correct statements, in fact. The 25th question of this week is from International, and the question is Union Home Ministry has recently decided to rename the tourist visa on arrival scheme as. Uh, a. E. Arrival Visa B. Tourist E. Visa C. E. Tourist Visa D. Arrival E. Visa E. E. Travel And your time starts now The right answer is E. Arrival Visa 
is the 26th question from international who is the first saudi arabian to head a united nations agency option a turaya ahmed obaid option b kaula al kuraya option c hayat sindi option d haifa al mansur option e amira al tawil you got 10 seconds to type in your answers in the comments below but before adding your option in the comments uh, don't forget to add the question number for the option the right answer is turaya ahmed obaid Who is the founder of doorstep.uk an online estate agency business that has recently been valued at 12 million pounds option A Mia Chawate option B Akshay Rupari Lee option C William Jack option D Thomas Locals option E Alexander you got 10 seconds to type in your correct answer in the comments The right answer is Akshay Rupariliye. Let's look at the next question. Which of the following is correct regarding infant mortality rate? One, IMR of the state of Kerala is six. Two, IMR of India is forty-one. If Indian IMR, that is infant mortality rate, is brought down to Kerala level, then India will save lives of seven lakh children each year. Option A one only, option B two only, option C three only, option D one two only, option E one two and three. The timer has started and running at seven six four five four three two one, and the right answer is one two and three. All of these three statements were correct. Which of the following is the largest destroyer ever built for the US Navy? Option A USS Zumwalt, option B USS Philadelphia, option C USS Constitution, option D HMS Trichomale, option E HMS Unicorn. The right answer is USS Zumwalt. Who is the present director general of the World Health Organization? Option A, Hela Mariam Desalign. Option B, Tedros Adhanom. Option C, Meliz Zenavi. Option D, Mulatu Tezum. Option E, Teddy Afro. You got ten seconds. Between that, you can type in your answers in the comment box. The right answer is Tedros Adhanom. Which country's parliament passed a bill to lower the voting age from 20 to 18? Option A, China. Option B, United Kingdom. Option C, United States of America. Option D, Japan. Option D, Russia. And you got 10 seconds to type in your answers. This is an easy question. This is news uh, by October last week, which is trending worldwide. The right answer is Japan. Who is Pakistan's current ambassador to United Nations? Option A, Patras Bukhari. Option B, Aizaz. Option C, Sohail Mahmood. Option D, Mali. Sorry, Maliha Lodi. Option E, Raza Rabani. The time started now. The right answer is Maliha Lodi. Which country has the world's most powerful passport with its citizens able to travel to the greatest number of countries visa free? Option A Thailand option B Malaysia option C Singapore option D Germany option D United States. This is the last question in international section next section will be national. The right answer is Singapore. Thank you for watching till the end. Please leave us your suggestion in the comment section below and we will get back to you. To get the instant notification, please click on the bell icon. Thank you.